One is a French brand known for providing premium, all-inclusive vacations for well-to-do families. One is a snowy Chinese town nestled in the country's far north forests. I'm fascinated by what chemical reaction would take place when you add the two together. Honestly, it was a little bit of shock because、um, it was the first time I'd actually entered a place that didn't speak at all any English. Clayton De Mata is the resort's general manager. He's from South Africa and had worked extensively across Asia before he got called to Yabuli in 2011. It was so unique for me that when I would take my day off, go to the town or everything, it's truly a a very rural area of China, and it was unique for me, very fascinating. Yabuli was a village unknown even to Chinese until snowy hills were turned into ski lanes in the late 1990s, as the country started developing winter sports. The arrival of Club Med in 2010 marked another milestone for locals like River Wang, who was the first in his family to ever work for a non-Chinese company. It was the first time I came into contact with a foreign company. I was really nervous and couldn't relax. Dancing with guests during the evening entertainment, it seems River's nervous days are behind him. He's now a member of Club Med's extra-friendly staff, known as the Gentil Organisateur. Part of their job is to socialize with guests. When I see people in my village, I say hello to them. Then I realize that oh, I'm not at work anymore, but it's become a habit, and I think it's nice. You can see them breaking through the barriers by themselves. They're breaking through those, that shyness and everything, and they're slowly finding out who they are themselves. Unlike other companies in northeastern China, Club Med has not had a hard time attracting staff because they rotate among its many locations within China and globally. Thirteen years since opening its doors, Club Med Yabuli is proving to be a successful investment. Now, on average, during our ski season. Uh, within the first three months, about 8,000 guests, with 2,000 plus above, of those being international guests. We were fortunate to celebrate our Christmas and New Year's at 100% occupancy. So you're actually making money here? No, it's, it's, we are seeing <laughs> tremendous growth in our clientele. Busy times mean more employment opportunities for skilled workers in the region. Every season, we go and do a small presentation at the university to encourage. We like to offer this opportunity to all of them to to come and experience. Uh, number one, what it is to be、uh, working in a hospitality industry, as well as to work in a an international setting. River's daughter is among the interns who have worked here. River says she liked it a lot and wants to become a full-time employee when she graduates. For many rural areas in China without industrial advantages, tourism is considered their ticket to further prosperity. Having foreign investment in that equation brings not just funding, but also a diversity of cultures and concepts whose impacts reach beyond the businesses.